So today we're going to do a video. We're going to take a look at a couple of bikes. We're going to be focusing on the uh, different colors of uh, red that uh, Schwinn used. This video is a little different than our typical video because these bikes have been, uh, we've restored these bikes, but they're already sold. These aren't going on eBay. So, so this one here was more of a custom bike. We'll pull it out. We'll take a look at it. So this one was done to uh, a couple of desire the style that, that the new, new owner wanted. So we fit his uh, request. And then this one here was was one of these uh, childhood, find my childhood bike and restore it back to as close to its original. And this one we got real close back to original. And then this one here on the end is, is one of our bikes. That's, that's a bike my son's like learning to ride on, but it was a different color red, so we, we, we pulled it out so we can do a comparison. Now this first one here is the, uh, was a one year color there. That was 1974. We get on in close here. We're gonna look at the folks on the top bar here and the, uh, the top of the chain guards are gonna be good, good comparison for a nice surface area to look at the colors. That first one there is 1974. Now that's a one year color. Schwinn was calling that an opaque red. Uh, that's the only year they use that for the Stingray. Now, I'm not sure if they might've used it for some of their other models uh, later, but they did use it for several models in 74, not just on the Stingray. But you can see it's more of a, it's more of a light red. Uh, you know, compared to the one next to it, which they call it a flamboyant red. And this flamboyant red, they used it from 72 to 78, is what they were calling the, the flamboyant red. And this one here is a 75. This is a 1975 flamboyant red. And that one's, that one's pretty close to stock. We, we brought that one back. The, uh, the grips are a little different. I, I went with black grips. It would have had a, a red glitter grip on it. But uh, other than that, and we're, and we're missing the, uh, the wheel reflectors. You would have had a red and orange in the back. But other than that, that bike is real close to being all original. And that was a flamboyant red. And you see it's, it's a little more, it's deeper. It's a little deeper red than the, uh, than the opaque. Uh, maybe a little more shine to it. It's a real nice color to it. And then the last one here, this, so this is a mini scrambler. It's not a stingray. And that they call the cardinal red. But this is the red combination that Schwinn used on their bikes uh, the later, the last, the last year to the Stingray. They did this cardinal red with a yellow trim that was from uh, 79 to 82. So that was the last years of the uh, Stingray. Now some of the earlier Stingrays that were red, like a 63, a 64, a 79, and a 70, they were in the catalog, they were just calling it red. Now I don't have one here to compare that, but I think it was probably closer to the flamboyant red than the other ones. Uh, whether it was just a name change or it was actually a different color. I, I wish I had one here so we could put it right up next to it. But back then in the catalog, they were just calling it, it was just red. So it, then in 72, they added the flamboyant red. Now the apple crate, which was in every year from 68 to 73, they just called it apple crate. So of course you knew apple, you thought it red. Now I have one here, this is the 68. Of course it, it's, in, it's in really rough condition, but we're gonna kind of focus on this back. This looks like maybe be the best area. And if we kind of shine it a little bit, we can get some better color out of it. And when I put it up next to them, I'm thinking that the apple crate was the same as the flamboyant. And, and their years did kind of overlap there. So they started this, uh, this flam they started calling it flamboyant in 72, and they were still making the apple crate for two more years, 72 and 73, which would make sense, you know, if you, not a lot of paint color changes whenever you're painting a bunch of frames. So you use the same color for both frames. And that one there, that's, that's pretty close. Of course, this one is, is in really bad condition, but this is a 68 crate. And what we do have left is original color. And, and it looks pretty close to me. Uh, take away the age on it and the, and the condition. And those two look like a match. So the apple crate, I believe, was the same as the flamboyant red, which is what we have on this one right here. And like I said, this bike here, we brought back pretty close to original. Uh, it had the knobby tire on the back. Swing and went with a uh, black seat at that time, 1975. I think they made it 75, 76, 77. They were using the black seat, maybe 78 also. Uh, 
reflector panels, had the reflector on the front, square, and on the back, on the, uh, what's called the short, the short sporty fenders. So this one came out really good. This one's on its way to Tulsa. Uh, that's restored back really close to stock. Like I said, if he, want, if he ever changes his mind, which I, I like the black grips with the black seat, but you know, if he wants to do the red glitter, that's easy change. Add a couple reflectors to the wheels. We got that one all the way back. And then this one here, the opaque, the one year color. All right, it's the only year that they made it to the Stingray. The, the, the original opaque would have had the, uh, we had a red glitter seat on it, but he, he wanted the white seat. He wanted white seat, white walls, white grips. So accommodated him on that. Put an aftermarket wheel. It's going to be an adult rider. This is one that he's going to want to ride. Uh, it's on his way to Pensacola. Real nice place to ride bikes. So we went with an aftermarket. It's a heavy duty 36 spoke wheel, heavy gauge uh, wheels on this one. New tires, new tubes, uh, new chain. You know things that would make the bike mechanically just like a new bike. So this is this is ready to ride. Uh, it's going to support him well. New decals. We put the deluxe on the decals. Uh, these both have new decals, the original one and this one. So this is something someone would be interested in. We, we can do bikes back to stock. You know, they can come out like this, really nice. If you say, hey, you know, I'm not worried about all original. I want to ride the thing, and you know, I want it to be, you know, mechanically like new. So okay, we're going to have to make some upgrades on it. Uh, make some changes on it. I wouldn't call them upgrades, but some changes on it. You know, to make like a new bike. So this here, this is something that we could be interested in. And then if you got a little rider, you know, here's here's one that I did for my son. Still training wheels on it. You know, looking to get somebody, somebody started on something original. You know, this is a nice little mini, mini scrambler. Uh, so it's a 16 inch bike. Uh, they made a they made a junior Stingray, which is 20 inch, but a little smaller. And they made a, a midget Stingray, which is, which is kind of hard to find. But um, that was a 16-inch version of the Stingray. But the Scrambler, we can we can do in the Mini. Those are pretty pretty easy to find. Restore that. Get somebody started on some training wheels. Well, we thanks for watching. And you know, if any of these style bikes would be something you'd be interested in, you know, reach out to us. We're we're trying to get away from eBay. Uh, we're doing less and less eBay. Uh, it's getting to the point now where I'm almost getting contacted and, and you know setting something up, doing about a bike a month, and uh, you know it's, I think almost everyone is uh, is reaching out to me through YouTube. Can send me a message, we we'll reply back, talk to them, figure out what they want, and uh, see if we can help them. So uh, thanks again for watching, and uh, keep riding.